It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. Now you might have noticed that there's a slight change of scenery uh, than my usual backdrop. And that is because I am at my Nan's house. The reason being for this is the whole family at Christmas chipped in and we got her a... Bi Orb Aquarium, a 15 litre halo. So just between me and you, I've snuck into her house while she's out for the day and I'm going to set it up for her so when she returns she'll have a nice surprise of aquarium being set up and ready for her. Aren't I a lovely grandson? She doesn't actually want fish in the aquarium, so minimal maintenance. And there's going to be a few things that I do differently uh, to how I would set it up if I were to add fish in there. So I'll mention them as and when I do them. Let's go ahead and get it out of its box. So nice cellophane bag. There we go. So this is the main aquarium. Let me get the packaging off and then get back to you. Here it is in all its beauty. Now what actually helped us make the decision to get this one for her is she'd often come and see me at work with friends and so on and so forth and she'd always point out the bio saying that she liked them. So one time she came in I said oh okay then then uh, which one's your favourite? If, if you could take one home which one would it be? Not obvious I know. And she happened to point this one out so jobs are good and easy enough we went ahead and got this one. The first thing I'm going to do is add the sponge filter here and then I'm going to add the biological filtration. We're just going to open up the flap like so, nice little magnetic shut there. Take the lid out, then I'm going to take the central bubble column out. Now the, fin the, finter, the filter actually screws into this, so give it a push and then a twist backwards and then that's there locked in. Now you can go ahead and put this combined unit back in over the air stone and twist it shut like so. So that's the main filter in place. Now it's time to add the biological filtration around the bottom. Now I'm going to be careful to try not to scratch the acrylic because acrylic scratches a lot easier than glass. Just spread that out nice and evenly. With the main aquarium being set up, it's pretty much down to personal choice now and getting on with decorating it. Now Biorb also have a wide range of centerpiece uh, ornaments and for this one I've gone for a nice natural slate look. So this is the piece here. There we go. I just need to slot that over the central column now. I've got some pebbles with a marbly look which I'm going to try and cover up all the biological filtration meter at the bottom with just to make it a little bit more pretty. Just before I put them in I'll just say I've given them a wash because they were quite dusty so that will keep the water a bit clearer when we fill the tank up in a little bit. Now these, I think, are pretty awesome. They're basically fake moss balls. I'm just going to put about three or four of these in the tank to give it some greenery and some colour. And to add some height to the background so you can't see my hand like you can at the moment, hello! I'm going to be adding some plants just to give it 
a bit of greenery in the background as well. Now we're almost there and a the final touch for decoration. I know she said she didn't want any uh, live animals in there. So I got some of these uh, silicon slash plastic jellyfish to go in and just give a bit of movement. So we'll see how well they fare out when I put them in. That's it for decorations and there's just a few more things to do just to bring it to life. That is add the water, add the air pump and turn the light on and you'll see the magic come to life. I'm going to be adding reverse osmosis water and that should conquer the problem of getting any mineral buildup at the top. So seeing as there's not actually going to be any living fish or creatures in the aquarium, I'm going to be adding some algae treatment. And that's just going to help keep maintenance down to its bare minimum. Literally all you're going to have to do with this aquarium is top off the uh, evaporated water, but it's got such a tight fitting lid that that's very rare as well. So it's really, really easy for my Nan to look after. the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed watching me set up this bioorb aquarium for my nan and I really hope she enjoys it when she gets back it'll be a nice surprise for her as she walks through the door she might think she's been burgled at first but then uh, she'll see the aquarium and think hang on I've gained something not lost something as always if you like this video don't forget to whack that thumbs up leave a comment below if you've got any questions about the whole setup or about bioorbs then ask down below and don't forget to subscribe for more shrimpy, shrimpy, shrimpy and fishy content coming out soon. So I'll see you in another video everyone. See you later. Woo! It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep things shrimple, simply shrimps. Do 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 do. Yeah!